Safe Access Oahu. That's the program that takes effect in two weeks, requiring proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test to get into restaurants, gyms, and several other businesses and entertainment venues. We wanted to know, are the neighbor islands looking to do the same? Jen Boniza follows up. Hawaii County's positivity rate sits at 9.0%, the highest in the state. And Hilo Medical Center is overwhelmed. Our capacity is well over 100%. We have um, an 11 bed ICU. We are currently running much and well beyond um, the 11 beds. Mayor Mitch Ross says he's trying to do what's best for his community and isn't sure a vaccination passport is it. We are assessing the situation from all different angles. Will this actually make a difference? and get um, those extra people vaccinated and bring down our counts at our hospitals. Does it separate our community more or does it bring them together? Um, really, we're trying to bring people together to do the right thing. But he says it is a possibility if things don't improve. Kauai has the lowest positivity rate at 5.1%. But before implementing any type of vaccination passport, Mayor Derek Kawakami wants to see how things go in Honolulu first. We're going to see how it rolls out. We're going to see how the businesses uh, and the customers are responding to it. We're also going to see if it does anything to level off the case counts. When government has to intervene and throw restrictions in front of a community, there's a lot of pain involved in that. And there are a lot of consequences that come at a cost. But he too is ready to pivot if things get worse. The positivity rate on Maui is currently 6.6%, second lowest in the state. Mayor Michael Victorino is still very concerned. He says both a 72-hour stay-at-home order for Labor Day weekend and a vaccination passport are on the table for Maui County. We are in the process uh, of setting down some changes that we have instituted, recommendations we got from the Department of Health and others for some uh, restrictions that will be more uh, in line with what's happening in, in our community right now. Victorino says he will provide details after the governor approves his request, and he assures everyone he will give ample time to prepare. Jen Boniza, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.